Hey guys, I found some junk down at my thrift. It's a video game, a DVD, turntable, and a plushie. Yahtzee, Yahtzee, Chatsky, Chatsky, a board game or two. So welcome to the Wars Pickup. Welcome. Yep. yep. Rebel Gaming Club Worst Pickup Episode 17 Season 2. Welcome back, guys. I am Dan. This is a weekly pickup show of all sorts of media varieties. We collect everything over here. So if you, you're thinking like, oh, does he have a collection of tuners? Yes, I do have a collection of guitar tuners. I got a bunch of cool stuff this week. Like most weeks, right? I, I collect some pretty fun stuff and you guys know because that's why you tune in I think that's why you tune in I don't know we got a package from Richard Brian Kahn we got a package from CM Retro you know we just did that discussion that open discussion about the community kind of coming back together and that's always good to discuss those kind of things and try to bring the the community back that was cool of him to think of me so, CM, I always appreciate it. Why don't we just start out with the package from CM Retro right now. We got it right here. I just sent a package to the hatch. I'll tell you what. Priority mail right now is insane. I asked the postmaster, I was like, is the price going up on this? They're like, no. I don't remember spending nine dollars to mail a um, video game to Texas, but she assured me, yes, it's always been that. No, she's lying to me. All right, CM Retro was looking out. He knows I'm only three games away from a complete Wii collection. So when he found this, he thought of me. What do we have here? We have a Nintendo Wii. 08 catalog. Oh, if that isn't just. Look at all those games, all the shovelware games they're releasing, the Wii, WiiWare stuff. This thing is sexy. I don't remember ever hearing about this either. I had never seen one until he just found it in, a, in his, one of his latest videos. Skate it. Who can forget that? pile of turd on the Wii. Oh, it's cool. It's even got the discs too. So I wonder if that's something you could actually put in the Wii. Look at that. Love it. That's going to be perfect for the collection. CM Retro, thank you so much for thinking of me and uh, always looking out. Much appreciated. If you ever see anything you need, please hit me up and let me know because obviously I owe you one, sir. Thank you. All right, so we got another package from Richard Brian Com, but we're going to wait a little bit before we dive into that because beginning of the pandemic, I totally packed a bunch of stuff away because I was cleaning up and now I just pulled it out and I found stuff and I like that when it happens because you forget about it and then you're like, oh my God, I got this. First thing we found was this natural doctrine. Look at this. Look at this. Comes with this little backpack here, which I don't know why they would come with a backpack because it's a strategy game, like medieval times and shit. But it did nonetheless. Fucking NIS doing some wacky shit. Let's see what else we got in here. There's the game. Still sealed up. And it also came with an art book. So not the craziest collector's edition of all time, but one that I don't really remember coming out. So 
I'm happy to have it. NIS is really fun to collect for. So we got it now. We got some thrifting finds. First up, Rayman 2, wonderful platformer. I don't think I have this one. I think I got the first one. Now I got the second one. Found a copy of Donkey Kong Country Returns. Another good platformer. Found a PSP case. You hold all your Lucy's in it. Came with this uh, sampler disc. But that was uh, that was something, right? Stick it over there for right now. Uh, ordered this off eBay. I want the collector's edition for Lollipop Chainsaw. It came with like pom poms and like a megaphone type thing for cheerleading. But it also came with this keychain. So I just bought the keychain because I couldn't find a complete um, collector's edition for under $100. Lollipop Chainsaw, easily one of my favorite games of all time. And a game that I associate uh, me getting sober with because I played it all week when I was feeling like shit trying to get, you know, dried up. It comes with a boyfriend's head right there, keychain. I think I paid like $7 for this. And just really, it's a good piece for the collection. Especially since it has such a sentimental thing to me. Uh, ordered this once again months ago. Everspace on the Switch. Uh, I believe this is a roguelike, randomly generated levels, a space shooter, outer space, 3D. That's what I know. Uh, some GameStop pickups from forever ago. We got Scribble Knots Showdown, Dawn of Discovery, Pure Pool, Destiny 2. Speaking of NIS, The Lost Child, Little Dragon's Cafe. Kind of like a Harvest Moon clone. Uh, I told you last episode about Maximum Games, right? Well, here's another Maximum Games. This is Car Mechanic Simulator. Um, I knew this was going to be a nightmare to find. Um, that's why I was, I was on it as soon as it came out. I kept my eyes open for the first used copy that came in. And that's when I picked it up months ago. Because now this game, this was a budget title, I think it was like a $30 game. Uh, this is going for 60 bucks now. So, keep your eyes peeled guys, a lot of people aren't going to know. But if you're a collector of this stuff, it's good to know if you want to flip it or just add it to your collection. Uh, we got Gun Gun Pixies. Still sealed up there from GameStop. Raging Loop, Day 1 Edition. It's a graphic novel, I do believe. Oh, what else we got here? Super Bomberman R. I bought this day one on the Switch and just hated it. But since it was uh, like 10 bucks, I snagged it up. Um, Adelier Furious. This is another one that, that's kind of bumping up in price on the PS4. Uh, and then we got the Senran Karuga Burst Renewal. This is still sealed up. Um, when you go to GameStops, I, I, it's probably not the case anymore, but pre-pandemic, um, a lot of times if you went in and you asked to look in the drawer, if they were cool enough, they'd, you know, they'd have stuff like this in the drawer that they never put on the shelf. And by the time that you got to look at it in the drawer, it was already clearanced out you know, went from brand new to pre-owned because it's GameStop and they do stupid shit like that sometimes. So all those sealed uh, collector's editions, I, I paid like half the price. I think this was like 15 bucks or something. Well worth it. Yeah, those are the, that's the video game finds right there. Um, ah, shit, there's actually another one. Yeah. 
forgot all about this too. We ordered uh, Trails of Cold Steel 3 on the Switch. Collector's Edition right there. It's got a sexy box. It's a series I need to dive into. Yeah, I don't know much about it. I know Jordan loves it. He's a big fan of the at least the first one. I don't know if he started the second one yet. Uh oh, we got some more. We got some thrifting funds. We snagged up this uh this I like box sets, CD box sets. Swinging with Bing, Bing Crosby's Lost Radio Performances. It's like a three CD with the nice book right there. I found this and I found a bunch of other CDs too. So we're gonna cut to that real quick. Oh, so many CDs. Walt Mink, kind of cool alternative rock. Oh, The Jam, such a good band. Pink Panther, kind of jazz album. Frank Black from the Pixies. Sealed, Bare Naked Ladies. Patti Smith, love her. Presence United States, who doesn't like them? The Cult, another great album by them. I love Paul Westerberg. Uh, found some computer games. First we found this Amazon Trail third. I don't know. Never played that one. And we found Monkey Island and the Secret of Monkey Island. Uh, these are both for Mac. They're both complete. And um, yeah. They're kind of tough to come by. So I don't know what I'll be doing with these, but they are sexy. And I love Monkey Island so much fun. So I thought that was a heck of a find right there. A girlfriend actually came across these. Yeah. Found this Doctor Who, the card game. Don't know much about it, but for $1.25, I thought it was worth it. Got to take a risk on it. Hold on. Just hang out for a minute, guys. Coming back, coming back. Uh, we found a... Uh, couple games I needed NES wise out thrifting we got Freedom Force which is a zapper game and I didn't have it's nothing crazy hard to find but one of those ones that I didn't have for some weird reason we also found a copy of punch out now I had Mike Tyson's punch out I didn't have the regular punch out and the cool thing about this is I actually have the box over there for it so we're one step closer to completing the just punch out Girlfriend found this old Power Rangers lunchbox there from 94. Still has its thermos in there in great shape. You guys know I don't really care about Power Rangers, but a lot of you guys do. So that was decent. Found a book from my favorite author in the whole wide world and one of the funniest people in my opinion. And that is David Sedaris. And this is Dress Your Family in Corduroy and Denim. I feel like I have these books three or four times over. But every time I see a David Sedaris book and it's 50 cents, I buy it. Because, well, I can always give it to someone who hasn't experienced his comedy. Just writes about his family and it's wonderful. His family is so dysfunctional. And just the way he thinks is, is hilarious. I've seen him live a couple times just reading stuff from his books. And he's, it's wonderful. Uh, I did a trade with Baseline Ben. Essentially he gave me this, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to give you a board game in return. And he was happy about it, and I was happy about it. He gave me the Collector's Edition for Soul Calibur VI. Comes with a statue and some other stuff. Unfortunately, I do not have the game yet. I think they're going to release a, some sort of Game of the Year edition. So you can already see they're starting to clearance out just the standard edition. So I'm going to wait until it's, well I think it's 20 bucks brand new right now. There will be no time before GameStop has it for 
once again, $8 or something. So that was cool of Ben. Another awesome collector's edition. You can kind of see what's in it right there. Next up, we've got some board games. We got this Statomatic Baseball. Um, any of you baseball fans out there, if you know anything, this is like the D&D &D of baseball. Super deep RPG. Um, you use real players, you use real numbers and stats, um, dice. Uh, the, the rule book, I've tried to play this and was so confused. Um, I'm sure it's a lot like some of these massive board games. It's very overwhelming. But one day I will master and learn how to play this and find some people who want to play Statomatic. This was a heck of a find. I think it was $1.75. These go for quite a bit. So I'm going to hold on to it though. It's going right in my collection because, well, I've wanted one for a long time. And now we got one. Also found some Harry Potter games. We got a. Uh, Sorcerer's Stone game, a mystery at Hogwarts. We grabbed Dragon Alley board game. I don't know much about that one. And the last one was this uh, Magical Beasts board game. And they all appear to be in decent shape and all complete. Um, I like Harry Potter. I, don't, I wouldn't say that I love Harry Potter. The girlfriend loves Harry Potter, so that's why I snag up that kind of stuff when I see it. Uh, all right, the last thing we got on the agenda this week is a package from RBK. He is fam. And it's also from my buddy, Bip, as well. Because he, uh, he has a record store, and uh, he uh, put some records aside, and Richard Brian Kahn snagged them up from him and uh, threw it in a box and sent it to me. So, first up, Richard Brian Kahn, his, uh, I believe his mother-in-law, hooked him up with her collection of Bob Dylan stuff. Uh... And I think RBK likes Bob Dylan and he enjoys him but he knows that I like I am in love with Bob Dylan so we got some Rolling Stones collector's editions here his 100 greatest songs that's going to be a great bathroom read what is this got this 8 by or I don't know what is this 5 by 7 print Bob Dylan from the 60s. That is awesome. Mojo with him on the cover. I'm sure that's got some good writing in it. Does it still have its CD in it? No, it doesn't. Uh, acoustic Guitar Magazine. Awesome. So that's a great start right there. Well, we got some CDs. We got Bob Dylan, World Gone Wrong, which I don't know this album. And also, Good As I've Been to You. There was a period there for Bob Dylan, I feel like in the 80s, that it just wasn't good. It was pretty bad. So these are some of those albums. I can't wait to listen to them and see just how bad it was. Oh, man. All right, so we got here the Bootleg Series, Volume 4 from uh, Live 1966. On tour, when I was on tour, my band, the River City Rebels, me and a and, uh, fellow bandmate would just rock these through the night. I was always like the navigator and he was the driver. We were, you know, we're a duo. And um, God, we, we knew these albums inside and out. Wonderful bootlegs. Live 75. This was the other big one that we, we really loved. And what is this? Together Through Life. I don't know this one. 
but it looks awesome. It's got a book with it too. Fam, you, you're hooking it up. Oh, a couple more CDs in here. Oh, we got a VHS. Uh, what is this? Hearts of Fire. I don't know this movie, but it stars Bob Dylan. And I'm sure it's from the 80s. Uh, Infidels, Bob Dylan album. Don't know it that well. Shot of Love, don't know it very well. And then we have Live in Concert from 63, which I don't think I've heard this one. So much new Bob Dylan to hear. I can't wait. All right, on to the vinyl. This is from Bip's store. Pulled this aside. This is Slick, which is kind of a um, bubblegum, glammy pop band. 70s Scotland, maybe. Olivia Newton-John's Greatest Hits. Can't go wrong with that. The Sweet. Uh, this is, a, I believe, a collection that they reissued for the United States. Because, um, well, early on, I don't think you could get the Sweet albums in the States. It was just in England. Worldwide, that is. So... And Bip, thank you so much. I've already been cranking this one up and loving it so much. I love the sweet. The Glitter Band. This is, uh, well, Gary Glitter's band. He, after Gary Glitter left, I guess uh, they released their own album, and it's wonderful. And we got a little promotion there from the record store, from Bip Store. Sean Cassidy, Born Late, some bubblegum right there. Donnie and Marie, Songbook. The Osmonds, this looks like it's pretty late in the Osmonds career. It's Brainstorm. So, yeah, that's it right there. Thank you so much, Richard Brian Kong. Yep, you guys are the best. So much good music to listen to, and I'm excited about it. Cause I'm still, I'm still getting the workouts in daily. And what, what motivates me is to listen to new music, and I get to soak it in and get inspired to kind of keep creating and having a good time in life in general. Uh, that's gonna do it. I think that's gonna wrap it up. I don't have anything else for you guys, but. Thanks for hanging out. Let me know if you saw something in this pile of goodness that you thought was really cool or really neat. And until next time, I, you know, you, you do what you do and um, toodaloo. See you later. Ladies, this movie sucks. <laughs>